Hey everybody, this is Prisoner830506, and this is a report from my prison cell at Facility 5, a private contract prison. This is my daily prison vlog for September 17th, and um, I am still in PPV. The soles of my bare feet are pressed firmly against the soles of the bare feet of Seven, a prisoner I met in consolidated confinement with the cutest feet in the prison. Um, so it's a pleasure. <laughs> we're, we're maintaining our full contact, which is a rule that we set in place to, to mimic what it was like in consolidated confinement, being that our feet were chained together and constantly in contact. So um, it's better with our feet unchained because now we can put our feet anywhere. And believe me, the soles of his feet have touched every inch of my body multiple times over. And it's awesome. I'm very happy for it. Um, <clears throat> Also, I really appreciate that he brings a ton of money to, with, with him to when, he get, when he does this. We get tons of junk food. We get better. We get upgraded meals. And tonight, we're going to get vodka, which is why I'm doing this vlog before dinner. Because when dinner comes and the, uh, the PLW that brings us dinner is going to bring us vodka. Because you can get anything you want in here as long as you have money, right? And he's got money so coming out his ass, basically. So um, whatever he gets, he wants, basically. Or whatever he wants, he gets. So um, what you're seeing here, and this is Seven taking the video. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to show this because I haven't really been approved to show the chair in my cell. But what's in a chair? It's a freaking chair, right? There's nothing proprietary about this, right? Um, but you can understand why they use these types of chairs in the prison. As you can see, the, the shackles are resting flat across the backs of my ankles, which is the most comfortable way to, to, to release pressure of these shackles. These shackles are permanent. They're welded on my ankles. They don't come off. And I've been wearing them for over a year. I don't know how long, to be honest. It's been a long time. It's definitely been over a year that these have been locked permanently around my ankles. So this chair is very comfortable for multiple reasons. Um, that being the biggest one, that it removes the weight of the shackles from my ankles and rests them on the most padded parts of my ankles, basically. Um, my feet are a little cleaner than usual. I did scrub them because I, our feet, my feet are going to be on seven for as long as he's in here. And I didn't want to leave footprints all over him and stuff. And um, you can see in this video, actually, his, he, luckily he, He's a VIP prisoner, so he actually gets the uh, black long shirt. Like, I'm wearing the beige one, and I'm regular prisoners wear beige, and then the, the, the uh, VIP prisoners wear um, black. So, and that, you'll probably see it on my bunk. Um, I think it's coming up anyway. Um, so, anyway, um, this is the, the kneeling chair that we have in our cells. All the cells come with this. Well, I don't know if all the cells do. The luxury cells have them. I don't know what chairs they have in the regular cells. Um, those are my totes underneath the bunk. They're pretty much empty, except for, you know, a couple uniforms and stuff. And then there's actually one of my long shirts on that's cramped in the corner back there. You can probably see it when he pans around. That's one that I keep forgetting to give the PLWs to launder because it's stuffed in a corner and I always forget it's there. So anyway, um, we have been working hard on the, uh, the uh, consolidated confinement stories. And again, those stories are only going to be posted on Patreon because I have to make 50 of them and I'm just not going to double that to 100. I'm sorry. Um, so when I'm in consolidated confinement, these will be scheduled day, day to day uh, automatically when I'm in prison, uh, imprisoned at, uh, in consolidated confinement because I can't do the daily vlog from down there. It just, I can't take the camera out of my cell. I can't <laughs> vlog, you know, when I'm chained to two other prisoners by my feet in uh, consolidated confinement, it's just not gonna happen. So this was actually um, Seven's idea and he's really excited about it because he's got a lot of stories to tell and he really wants to get them out. Um, and we're working on it together. So he, some of the stories that are posted there are his and I'll mention if it's his and mine if it's mine. And uh, we have five months of stories to tell basically uh, between us. So um, we've been working on that, and I have to make 50 of these freaking videos. And they haven't added video to him yet, but we're just doing the audio for now. He's not in any of them because I'm not allowed to record his voice or show how adorable his little child feet are. Um, they're so fucking cute. Um, I just, I love them. Anyway, um, it's, it's stupid, but my feet were chained to his for almost a month in consolidated confinement, and I fell in love with his feet. 
So anyway, he likes mine too. I don't think he feels as strongly as as I do about his, but um, see, there's my shirt way tucked back in there. That's a long shirt that needs to go out. And there's his shirt on the left, you can see. So um, yeah, anyway, we're just, yeah. Um, he's wearing his regular long sleeve shirt in this video and his leggings. Um, so anyway, yeah, this is it. Um, just to let you know, just to remind you, if I do go into consolidated confinement, um, there'll be one video posted to YouTube, and then if you want to follow the, these videos that we're making right now um, for the consolidated confinement stories, you'll have to subscribe to Patreon, and it's only five dollars a month. So I mean, we're not trying to rip you off. I mean, ask anybody that tried to give us money prior to Patreon that we denied it. We declined all funds until I got into prison because my girlfriend felt that the stories that I was telling, you know, the videos were just not worth paying for. Um, until I got into prison. And of course, the whole idea of the Patreon from the very beginning was to pay for my imprisonment, to extend my imprisonment. And now I'm in prison. That's what I need more than ever. I, I'm, I'm on the verge of homelessness, homelessness at this point. My, me and my girlfriend broke up. She owns me, legally owns me. I can't sign my name to anything without her co-signature because of the power of attorney. And she literally owns me and everything that I owned is hers, basically, because of that power of attorney. And she's not really happy with me right now. She's basically said that when I get out of prison that we're not gonna live together. And that's a problem for me because she's taken the house, basically. So that means that when I get out of prison, I could be homeless. Um, I doubt it's going to get to that, but there's a lot of reasons for me to not be out of prison right now, right? I like it here. This is my home right now, and it may be the only home I have <laughs> if I get out of prison and I have nowhere to go. So um, I have to do whatever I can to get as much funding as I can to keep me locked up here, and that's my only goal right now. So um, please help out. Um, if you can spare five dollars a month, go over to patreon.com slash facility five. If you can spare more, you're going to be one of my favorite people. OK, so and you'll get extra stuff over there as well. And um, that's it. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Oh, um, Seven's going to stay another day, too. So he'll be in tomorrow's video, too, even though you can't see or hear him. Um, but um, I think I'm a lot chip more chipper. Is that is that a term? A British term or you know English people say that chipper anyway I'll be I'm more chipper with him around let's put it that way I was pretty depressed when the other day when he's uh, declined my PPV and now I'm super happy that he's in my cell for m multiple reasons I love his feet I love his money but, hey I'm just saying that how it is dude <laughs> you're, you're awesome when you come in here I get all kinds of junk food and stuff he, he knows what I'm talking about. It's not like I'm trying to use him or anything. Well, I am using him because he's got adorable feet and I want him on me. So anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's video.